If there is anything we Philippines should be proud of, it is our culture, our diversity, and our blood of being a Filipino. So good day to everyone and welcome to Eric MV. In this channel, I talk about Filipino cultural traits, values, or proverbs. In Tagalog, means kasabihan o salawi kain. And today, we shall discuss one of our foremost cultural traits, the spirit of Bayanihan. But before I proceed, please subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell and be notified of my latest videos, and leave your comments, if you will. So let's get to Filipino trait we call Bayanihan. Bayanihan means a collective or group undertaking. Bayan means town. The population of that Bayan is the Bayan itself. So it is the group of people in particular or a community in general. The whole word itself literally means being a community. Benihan was conceived to refer to a spirit of unity, cooperation or camaraderie in the community or in the Bayan. The Filipino culture of friendship, pakikisama or pakikipagkaibigan in Tagalog, and this actually is the principle of Bayanihan, to help one another to accomplish or achieve a common task for the greater good of a particular community or group. The Philippines is a country of diverse cultural influences. We have kept and maintained in practice what our elders learned from the Spanish, from the Americans, the Japanese, the Chinese, and other nationalities that came to the Philippines as colonizers, traders, to do commerce, or merely to settle down. So Filipinos learned the various traits from these foreigners that were passed on from generation to generation. So these outside traits and influences were in religion, beliefs, and even in race, idiosyncrasies. Although in general, a true-blooded Filipino is of Malay race with diverse beliefs and cultural orientation. So, those Filipinos who married these foreign nationals had to recalibrate, adjust, or reshape themselves so that their behavior, beliefs, and traits are worthy of acceptance to their foreign husbands or wife, whether they live in the Philippines or in the country of their spouse. The idea is aimed to ensure that the relationship will last even if it takes an enormous effort to adjust. So it's a fair argument to say that some Filipinos have been Hispanized, Americanized, or even Japanese-sized if there's such a word, or Chinese-sized if there's ever such words. So. There are Filipinos married to foreigners but have remained plain and simple Filipinos with intact local orientation, cultural traits, and beliefs rooted from their social background where they live in. Worth mentioning is the large ethnicity groupings in terms of place of birth, etc. that have been strongly dictated upon the Filipinos' character upbringing and social integration. Ethno-linguistic collective groups of 175 different recorded dialects are undeniable factors that I think responds to the contrasting behavioral characters of those in the northern and central provinces in comparison from those uh, in the mid part of the southern provinces of the country. The varied indigenous concepts and perspectives give reason to their differentiated characters and personalities. Some show strong character traits while others display weaker personality traits or vice versa. This diversity is most evident in cultural activities or events where various ethnic groups take part in. Faced with the foregoing premise, we are left with this question. How can we reconcile the Bayanihan trait as a prevalent Filipino value in the country while we are confronted with factors that postulate apparent 
diversified predicaments of sorts insofar as the essence of Bayanihan trait is concerned. I, I think that the Bayanihan spirit is very relative and even subjective in terms of practice. I would argue that the Bayanihan spirit is likely dependent upon the extent of its practice in a nationwide scale and uh, observed in specific collective communities, though almost unverifiable. But we have witnessed it in many equations where people help the family physically move their house to another location. We have also witnessed in funeral wakes that the help to the bereaved family is done by raising money through games like mahjong, card games, while some collect money from people present in the wake, and so many other things, all in the name of raising money for the funeral expenses. The spirit of Bayanihan can be observed in many other situations where its practice is required. Now, at this period in our time, the Bayanihan spirit is heated more during natural calamities like typhoons, earthquakes, volcano eruptions, and other natural disasters. So outside of these natural disasters, the story differs. Since at this point, the Philippine population is increasing, the true Bayanihan spirit could be rather limited to small barrios or towns, in a barangay perhaps, in places where the majority of the community population is familiar with each other. In big cities and municipalities where the population hardly know each other, except for few. Each and every individual is an island and a total stranger to others except to their own families and friends and acquaintances. Unless you live in exclusive housing areas, the possibility of identifying who's who is more likely prevalent. You know, Filipinos should be proud of the Bayanihan trait. Filipinos should take pride in showcasing it to the world. It is a beautiful tradition, though sporadic, but places the Filipinos to the level of how human beings should act in times of trials. Extending a helping hand to another human being is in need is a gesture worthy of praise and gratitude. Although sometimes some Filipinos who take advantage of the trait are said to be nagsasamantala or maabuso, abuse of trust, but in imposing that, if help is not extended to some Filipinos, interpret it as walang pakisama, without sense of camaraderie. Commentaries that are preposterous by any terms, as they should be shoveled away as inconsequential. The essence of Bayanihan is a is totally voluntary gesture. However, we cannot erase the cloud of doubt when it is practiced with an underlying intention on the part of the players. But in most cases, the good nature of humanity prevails more than the personal gains one could possibly derive from it. Sad to say though that uh, off and on, it occurs in specific situations. It is my earnest belief that the spirit of Bayanihan is a golden opportunity for Filipinos to demonstrate to the world that the Philippines is a people of good trait and human behavior. At this stage of our time, the Bayanihan spirit has to be showcased to the whole world because it projects true meaning of humanity. As a Filipino, we should be proud of what our ancestors have left us, a trait that exposes an authentic character value of what a Filipino is. Some Filipinos could have stained it with an attitude of disregard to others in need, but we know full well that deep within each and every individual, there is goodness left in their hearts no matter how bad they could sometimes have been. We all have a good side and a bad side. We are only different in our interpretation of what is good or bad. Before I go, allow me to leave you 
with a quotation from an unknown author who says, and I quote, strong people stand up for themselves, but the strong people stand up for others. Unquote. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Thank you all. If you haven't done already, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified of my next videos on Salawi Kain Kasabihang Filipino. Leave your comments if you will, and I'll respond to them in no time. I hope I was able to give you a piece of my thoughts. Have a great day ahead of you. Please stay safe and be out of harm. So you put on your mask, wash your hands or sanitize them. Until my next video, this is your host, Eric MD. Paalam, goodbye, adios, y hasta la próxima.